once again, guys, we are just in the middle of massive projects. I'm sure you guys remember that beautiful linoleum floor that I had throughout the dining room and the kitchen, ripped all that up, and then under here was that same like particle plywood that was in the bathrooms. So I ripped that out. I had luckily half inch ply under that. So I left that, but then had to redo the three quarter inch plywood to make it match up with the hardwood. I still have some uh, sanding to do over here to kind of like blend this lip in better. Was able to take out the entire kitchen soft box, which uh, this is the only little part I have left here because I got a freaking this wire because the soft box was open before, they just had it like angled through there. But now that I'm putting drywall up, I can't do that with the wire just hanging out the, the wall. So I have to make a hole in that two by four so that way it could run through the wall properly. I ripped out all the cabinets and stuff myself, which was super fun. And then I ripped out like half of the floor by myself. And then I was able to find somebody to come and help me rip out the second half as well as rip out the soft box. Cause like I can do a lot of things, you know, um, I, I take pride in that. However, there are certain things that are just easier with people that are stronger. It took me pretty much almost a full day to get half of the, um, that particle plywood off of the kitchen. And then when the guy came to help me the next day, him and I were doing it. And the second half we got up in like maybe an hour and a half. So I should have just had his help from the beginning, but whatever, you live and you learn. So anyway, that's looking much better and got finally got that last piece of fridge wall blocked, blocking out. So this is completely open now. I have my new appliances on the way, my cabinetry is on the way, what I'm doing for the countertops is on the way. So a lot of stuff is happening really, really fast. But while this is waiting, I have started to get this ready and I'm about to put in the vinyl flooring finally. I got this literally about a year ago when I first bought the house because I'm just out of control and it's just been stacked up here as my only table that I've had for the last year. I originally wanted to wait to just do all of the flooring at once, but at this point, since all of the rooms and bathrooms are done and these two rooms, I feel I could just do this whole half of the house and then just leave the kitchen, the family room, and it will make me feel a lot better because I already know it's going to be a humongous transformation. I think you guys saw the doors, but I don't know, I don't know that you saw that I painted the walls. I, I don't think you did. I did that one accent wall, which painting one wall a color is kind of a pain, but um, that way just to kind of like draw your eyes, like to elongate the room that way a little bit. I don't know if that works like that, but whatever. Um, and then I painted the other three, like it's called Sight White. It's a, like an off whitey blue, just to kind of put that in the same tone. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the room one more time before we do the floor transformation. So there it is. And I'm going to now try and figure this out. Wish me luck. Let's go. So we got all this done. I did end up stopping over here for the hallway just because I ran out of time. And uh, my mom is coming into town and if I didn't clean up the house, I would have been in big trouble. So <laughs> I decided to stop here. I knew the closets were gonna take time to do and just tape that off. But at least I was able to get the main uh, living room and the dining room done which is super exciting. Having this part of the floor in makes me feel a little bit better. Like I have more progress done on the house. It would have been nice if I had the hallway done, but I'll just get that done this week. I think that is my delivery. Hello? Hello? Hi, good morning. Uh, this is Lowe's for delivery service. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, I'll just to let you know that we should be there in the next, uh, 15 minutes. Great, I'm here. Alright, great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Perfect timing. After I started a couple rows, Jason ended up actually showing up and helping me for a couple hours. He helped me get to like right outside of the closet right here. And then I finished all this stuff after. I am so tired of mudding and sanding. Got the kitchen all closed up and the family room with the final the final uh, mud sand and I'm about to primer everything 
Uh, this was supposed to be started way earlier in the day, but I had to sand for hours just because. I don't, if you guys, if you've ever sanded before uh, mud, sanding the ceiling by hand freaking sucks so bad. So whatever, my shoulders are burning, but we got it done. And uh, yeah, I had to add some more outlets here. So we got those, got the 240 for the stove now. I was here till one in the morning last night getting everything primed. The ceiling is a freaking nightmare. But everything is white. This is actually, I mean, you know, primer white, so you still see some stuff peeking through. But this is actually the first time seeing the entire room, like, one color, making it look cohesive, I guess. Not, like, with partial walls and, and pieces. And I gotta say, I mean, it is pretty dark in here. <laughs> but the, uh, the room does look much more open and I really, really like it. Can't wait to get all of those cabinets in. Well, my camera died. But we did get all of the kitchen cabinets built. Uh, we worked on it probably like two and a half hours one night and then it was already pretty late so we picked it up the next day and it probably took us about another four hours. So, you know, like around five, six hours total and I think I have like 15 cabinets maybe. This corner, Lazy Susan, took us the longest time to figure out. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I opted for this one with the extra, you know, rolly trays just because... Why not, right? I'm redoing the whole kitchen. We also did some electrical work. Yet We were just a jack of all trades yesterday, honestly. We did cabinet building in the morning, and then we did uh, electrical, and then we did some flooring transition strips. It was just like a little bit of everything. Turns out my fireplace is not currently fit for natural fires, so I am putting in an electric fireplace. I know some people might not like that, but you know, it's gonna cost me thousands and thousands of dollars to get this back up and running, and I don't want to spend that on something I'm gonna use once or twice a year. So, what I had to do was I took out the igniter that was here, and then we added this electrical box. I personally wanted to make it a waterproof uh, box housing just in case. I did add a chimney cap up top, but just in case water came in here, which it shouldn't any longer now that I have the chimney cap, um, but just in case, I wanted to make sure that it was as good as possible. So got this guy in here mounted, ran some conduit outside, popped out this hole right here, ran the conduit down, had to do this little funky design here. Honestly, this might not be right, but I figured this out because we were trying to go like just straight down and then a 90 here and a 90 into here, but then it was leaving like a, a big gap on the end. So I kind of played around with the little 90s a little bit cut a bit off and made it fit there and then it's going to go into the crawl space well it does go into the crawl space and now all I have left is to figure out how to get that into the electrical panel but all of this portion of it is uh is done so I could get power to my electric fireplace I lost a bit out here yesterday because uh it was one of the Milwaukee ones I thought it, it snapped on and apparently the the hex ones don't magnet and it was dark out so it got lost here. I'm gonna see if I have batteries in the uh, metal detector and see if I can find it real quick. Oh, it does have battery, let's go. Wow, this brings back some good memories here to finding. Not there. Well, it was worth a try. Maybe we'll find it when we redo the deck. I'm pretty sure it probably dropped in one of those uh, deck cracks. So I am now going to be doing something that I understand is a very controversial topic and a lot of people don't like it. And if that's, you're one of those people, I'm sorry. But, you know, one of my favorite things to say with having a mortgage payment is my house, my rules. So I'm gonna be painting this fireplace brick. I fully understand that this might come out bad and it might be a mistake. But, that is a 
chance I'm willing to take. Here we go. No turning back now. I kind of freaking love it. Let's go. I actually was gonna stain this mantle darker, but I probably won't go too much darker because I really kind of like the, uh, the lighter contrast against the black. I do have to do one more coat. I'm gonna give it some time to dry. Uh, there is just a ton of these little cracks going in here with the brush to make sure like getting all those pores and whatnot, but I think it looks pretty good. I feel like that really modernized the fireplace area. Okay, now that that's done, I can paint this so we can get our cabinets in. So we are gonna start with the upper cabinets first and we are gonna start in the corner and work our way out. I'm the one who measured this, so you know, it's either gonna fit or it's not, we'll, we'll find out shortly. Jason is setting up the laser level right now. I already went around and marked where the bottom of the cabinets should be. And that is based off of the 34 and a half inch countertops plus an inch of counter itself and then an 18 inch gap, which gets me here. I purchased 36 inch cabinets and then I am most likely going to add at some point um, a little bit of crown molding at the top. So I'll just have a little gap from the top. <laughs> Got our ledger boards in. Time to put a corner cabinet in. What are you doing, Bianca? Oh, excuse me. I don't screw nothing? No, you screwed in. Okay. Don't fall off. I'll have to pick you up. Why do you look confused? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Just put the screws in. Okay. One cabinet is up and we have to go back to Lowe's already because the washers that we got for the butterflies, which we're gonna use when there isn't a stud to hold up the cabinet, uh, we think are a little bit too small. Jason says we should go a little bigger to make sure that they don't <laughs> fall through the hole. So I guess we'll be back. Back with the new washers. All of the upper cabinets on the right side are up. Now it's time to take off the ledger board and uh, see if they hold up. <laughs> they held! Okay, so I do have two more upper, three more upper cabinets on, no, two. Two more upper cabinets to the left of the window, but those are gonna be working off of a refrigerator panel. So we have to do the bottom now, so that way I know where it lines up over here, and then I could, once the refrigerator panel is up, I can do that last cabinet off of it. Time to put that big old lazy Susan here in the corner. All right, so this cabinet is freaking massive. Um, it's level this way, but this way we are a little bit tilted forward. So I'm just going to drop some shims in here. It doesn't need much. Probably not tight. Let's freaking go! <laughs> Don't ever underestimate me <laughs> and my precision. That's freaking good. Heck yeah, dude. It's not in though, Bianca. Yeah, not yet, but I mean, it's it's in there, it's good. Oh, we are moving right along here. Slid this puppy in here. Seems like my measuring is going pretty good so far. We got our nice little sinky right in the center of the window. We got a huge thing, Lazy Susan over here, so you could just spin around in here. Look, you could put this guy here. Okay. Yeah. So we have two base cabinets left right here, which are going to match these 18 and 24. So we are going to slide the stove into here. I have to finish with that over there, but at least we'll make sure that all the spacing is good. This is my nice, beautiful stove. 
It's really, really nice. Really been taking good quality care of it here work in the workstation. This is why we get nothing done. All this guy does is grab... <laughs> what do you have there, Jason? <laughs> what is it called? Truly. Oh, is it Truly's? What was the one that you had yesterday? Uh, I think he remembers it. It's in the garbage can. Full... There it is. Fluff and delicious. This is why, oh, it is truly the same brand. That's why we get nothing done. We are calling it a night. Didn't quite get as far as I had hoped. However, we did get all of the cabinets installed, except for uh, this this refrigerator panel here is still uh, loose. I have crown molding that is coming and I don't want to cut this until I know how high the crown molding goes. I think it's gonna be a straight cut, but just wanted to be sure. Quick side mission. I bought a TV. Why, I don't know, but maybe because I gotta buy one eventually. Uh, gonna hang it up here. And yeah, to do that I need to put the new outlet in. This I ran from jumping it from this outlet uh, up and through the wall when I had all of this off. Just learned that new trick. I'm <laughs> still getting used to it. I always double check to make sure I didn't cut the wires though. That part, done. I got this puppy all set up, put some LED strips around it as well. Have the mount mounted on here, nice and secure. So all that's left to do is mount the wall bracket part. And I actually screwed up. I mean, not really screwed up yet, but uh, almost screwed up. I marked, so I gotta fix that. But um, I have, there's a, there's a stud right here and then it's 16 on center. I, for some reason, had 24 on center on my head, but 16 and 16 is 32. So I put the extender on there, which I don't even think I need it, but I'm gonna just leave it on there anyway. Um, and I'm just going to use this stud and this stud and then have to slide the TV to the right to make it centered on the rack, which is why I'm gonna leave this, just in case I have to go like all the way to here. I don't know, I just have a little extra extra room to play with. So I'm gonna pre-drill this now. They give you this cute little uh, level here. So I'm just going to... That looks pretty good there. I gotta say it looks hella crooked there. So I, I don't know, I, I think I'm just gonna measure from the ceiling. I don't know if it's, a, I don't know. That does not look freaking straight. I'm gonna try my level. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, so that level is, no bueno. Right around there. That looks more straight. Now I'm gonna attempt to hang this thing by myself. Problem is, I can't see how high I have to go. So I'm really just freaking. Get it on here. It's not for the week, folks. Oh. Oh. You can do it, B. You see, I'm glad I left the extension piece on. That is all the way to the right, hitting the end of that um, that first like piece, and I feel like it still needs to go over to the right, maybe like three more inches. So I'll have to lift it over that little attachment piece and get it to slide to center. Also, I'm aware it's too high. There are adjustments on the back of the TV bracket that I can put uh, to drop it down, like probably another three inches, maybe where that, maybe where that uh, 
shadow line is? Uh, I guess all there's left to do is see if it actually works because you would think I would have turned it on and like tested this before, but you know, I like to be surprised with you guys. So let's see. Power button. Where is that on these things? I got, I got red here. I think that's power. Hey, let's go. Oh, what the LEDs automatically turned on in the back too. Oh, we got to turn off the lights guys. We got to turn off the lights. The top looks a little hot right now, but remember it's raised. So I'm not going to move the strips until I reposition the TV and see, I think once it comes down those couple inches, it should uh, even it out. Project TV complete. Now back to cabinet building. By the way, guys, I ordered all of my cabinets from buywholesalecabinets.com. I think the full kitchen order came out to like just under 4,500 bucks. If you guys use the code 100BWC, you'll get a hundred bucks off of your kitchen order and I'll receive a small referral. So it's much appreciated if that commission comes my way. Anyways, let's get back to screwing in these uh, cabinets and closing the gaps. I'm going to be basically closing all of these. To do that, I'm gonna use a little gadget. I'll put the link for this in the house gear link in the description. Basically, these two outside pieces clamp onto the face plates and then this part pushes against the face plate to bring everything together and like flush. That's how it's supposed to work anyway. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, you see how that gap closes up real nice. And then right now there's a little lip this way. So now you push this guy and it flushes them up. Woo! Beautiful, a little bit more, I think. That's pretty freaking good. So this little door, I've never used this before. I'm just going based off of what Jason told me to do. This little door, you drill, you pre-drill when it's closed and then you open the door and you put your screw in there. Now we open the little door. Yeah, there's a little hole there, nice. That is a big old gap, so let's see if we can... I might need to put four here, I'm gonna do three for sure. Now it's just a little baby hairline crack, which... I mean, I think that's normal, I don't know, I've never done this before. Okay, yeah, and for the rest of them, yay. I still have to do the drawers, but I'm gonna just do that a little later today. Uh, anyway, we are about to install the island right now in the center. I was going to wait and do this after on top of the floor, but I changed my mind, and I'm just going to mount it down now and then just do the floor around it since I'm gonna be putting trim on it anyway. For my island, I actually got vanity cabinets because they were not as deep. They're only 21 inch instead of the 24 and a half that the regular base cabinets are. I went that route because I don't feel that I have that much space to make like a huge island. So I was just shooting for 30 inches overall, which would give me about an eight inch overhang if you account for the overhang on the other side. So it would be something like this. And then I have to just measure these guys, because you're supposed to shoot for, I think it's 42 inches, right? 40's about there. And that's pretty close to where we're at. At 40 right there. Check out this new carpenter pencil I got. All right, so we got our spot on this side. So we're just gonna mark it up. Nice toe kick. officially secured. Obviously, countertop's gonna go on there, weigh it down some more, but this is where it's at. And yeah, I have to do something to the back. I'm not worried about the screws because I'll do some nice little trim in there too. But we are moving and grooving. And just to show you guys, pop these guys off real quick. So I'll have to do some patchwork here, but when the drawer is actually in, you obviously won't see it. And I have to get the paint color anyway for the rest of the trim. So it's fine, I'll just get two little drawers in here, make it fully functional. Boom, boom, we got the soft clothes hinges there. Quick lunch break, and then we're going to build the drawers to be done with the kitchen cabinets for the most part, except for that guy right there. Mm. <laughs> what your teeth? <laughs> no, down there? Yeah.
<laughs> there we go. Yay. All of the drawers are in. Have a little make-believe drywall. This is actually this is actually pretty perfect. That's kind of what it's gonna be like. Obviously not made out of drywall, but you know, you get the idea. So the island is done. All of the cabinets and the drawers are in place. This side we got two. I knocked these out already so I could get the uh the real drawers in there, and then I'll have a nice little island in place. We got all the nice black hardware. Boom, boom. Everything is looking really, really nice. And what a transformation from this old, none of the cupboards stayed against the wall to this full kitchen renovation. So yeah, like I said, I have to do, you know, some back work here, probably do some side work here as well. And then other than the two dummy drawers here, then it's just putting on the kitchen counters, the island counter, and the kitchen will be done. Also, there's no power there right now, but got this fireplace in here. So the mantle with the TV is all done as well once I move that puppy down just a hair. But looking really good and if you look at it from here that wall open really made a huge difference compared to this is what it looked like when i bought the house that was a uh, super fun we are getting close we are definitely getting closer to this renovation being completed although it feels like it's just an endless list of things that have to be done but we will get there eventually we just need a little bit more time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later.